This is your host, the Apostle Reuben, with another short Bible lesson. Now, brothers and sisters, we're going over Acts 2. Now, I'm going to read this as fast as I can because it's the shorter version of what's going to be longer later. But we're talking about what happened at the Pentecost with the Holy Spirit. Now, let's begin. The book of Acts 2 and 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. You're going to find out who was all in accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as the fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now, the Spirit gave them utterance. But <laughs> and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. Now, that's, what is this fire? Because you're going to notice the fire and the Holy Spirit are mentioned together. So let's go back to Matthew. Because i got to read this. I want to go back to Matthew chapter 3 and verse 11 real quick. John's talking. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the what? The Holy Ghost and with fire. See, there, there's that fire again. Fire. Fire. But the question is, brothers and sisters, what is it? What is the fire? Let's get three verses, three witnesses now. Let's get the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 14. Now we're going to get to these precepts quickly so I can go ahead and get through this. Jeremiah 5, 14. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, because you speak this word, the word is the law. <laughs> word. <laughs> the Greek logos is sometimes used of the Messiah Christ. John 1 is telling you where it's at. But now it drops. The word of God is a name often given to the scriptures and the law of God. So the word of God is the law. 90% of the time. So you Christians, don't try to change it. Jeremiah 5, 14. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord God of hosts, because you speak this law, behold, I will make my words, which are the laws, and thy mouth fire. Oh. Mm. So the fire is the law. The fire is the law. I shall make my words in thy fi mild fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. It's going to devour their hearts. Well, let's, I want one more out of here. The book of Jeremiah 23, 23. And we're going to go drop down the bus. 28. The prophet that hath a dream, let him tell the dream. And he that hath my word, there's that law again. Let him speak my word faithfully. Ah, so you can speak the law. You can, you can speak the law, you Christians, faithfully. So you can speak the law in faith. There it is. <laughs> what is the chaff to the wheat, saith the Lord? Is not my word like as a fire? Ah, so what are you looking at? You, you find out this fire, saith the Lord. Like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? Mm. Deuteronomy. Let's go back to the Deuteronomy 33. And I want to read verse one. And this is the blessing wherewith Moses, the man of God, blessed the children of Israel before his death. This is a prophecy. Listen up. And he said, the Lord came from Sinai and rose up from Seir and rose up from Seir. Unto them, he shined forth from Mount Paran, and he came with ten thousands of saints. From his right hand went out 
a fiery law for them. So the law was fire. That's the only fire. In comparison to the law, there's no other. So when we go back to Acts, see, it's letting you know, brothers and sisters, I wanted to go back to Matthew 3, but I'm just, my thing is the fire is the law. So when you read this, Acts 2 and 3, and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. The fire is the law, and it sat upon each of them. Now watch. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Remember Christ said, no, John the Baptist said that Christ would baptize with uh, the Holy Ghost and fire. Fire and the Holy Ghost were together. And you see it's together here. And began to speak with other tongues, tongues, languages, as the Spirit gave them utterance. The Spirit gave them utterance. Now, I gotta get I gotta get this. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Devout men, devout men. Now, what is what does that devout men mean? Acts twenty two and twelve. Let's look at what it means to be devout. And one Ananias, a devout man according to the law. Mm. So you're devout according to the law. So law keepers, law keepers came to the Pentecost. There was no Sunday keepers there. Devout men are law keepers. Just letting you see. Let's go back to Acts. See these pork chop eaters. They don't, they, they, you. The Holy Spirit didn't come upon those sinners, brothers and sisters. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. So wherever they were from, they spoke a language and they weren't all the same. See, brothers and sisters, it's not no wop, bop, baloo, bop, balop, bam, blue, bop, bop, ta, 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 which speak Galilean, and how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born. So every man heard them speak in their tongue. But they were, these were different languages, but they heard them speaking something in their tongue. Now, I'm going to read. Parthian, this is where these men were from. Parthians and Medes, Elamites, dwellers of Mesopotamia, and in, and, and in Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia. I'm just trying to get through this real quick because I want to make sure I can finish this. Phrygia and Pamphylia in Egypt and in the parts of Libya about Cyrene and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes. So, they were out of every nation under heaven, these Jews, at this feast. Everybody didn't come, just the Jews from every nation under heaven now. But verse 11, Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. Ah, so every man in his own tongue, which is language, language now, heard the wonderful works of God. Now, brothers and sisters, that's a head scratcher. They, they, they heard the wonderful works of God. They understood what they heard. It wasn't no wop, bop, baloo, bop, balop, bam, boom. It wasn't no mystery. They all heard in their own language the wonderful works of God. Psalm 78, verse 1. Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will utter, excuse me, I will open my mouth from the parable. I will utter dark sayings of old which we have heard and known and our fathers have told us we will not hide them from their children, showing the generation to come, the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works. He has done brothers, and sisters, the wonderful works are the laws. <laughs> Every man heard the scriptures taught in their own language. It was not wop, bop, baloo, bop, asadamata, ta, 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 ta. They understood in their own language the wonderful works of God. And that is what you see here. The laws 
the wonderful works were the laws 